Meanwhile, as Hollywood looks for new ways to sell films, it's looking more and more to China. But it is a tricky business, partly because of strict censorship and because the Chinese government takes a cut of all those foreign films. Dan Mintz is a busy guy figuring it all out. He's the CEO of Dynamic Marketing Group Entertainment, and he joins us now from L.A. So, Dan, you've put a, basically made a big bet on China. When did you decide you wanted to bring Hollywood to China? Went there very early. Uh, I went to shoot a commercial, direct a commercial in 1989 in, in China. I noticed this incredible, incredible potential there. And being born and raised in New York, I, I wanted to see a city grow. Uh, it was uh, the right time, and uh, we were fortunate enough to, uh, to, to build the right kind of infrastructure. Well, the time certainly was right. You've grown dramatically. But uh, what have been the challenges? We just highlighted a couple of them. Well, obviously, it's a, it's a highly regulated uh, environment. Uh, and really, uh, one of the main differences is that in, in, in the United States, you're, you're really just communicating with one, with one type of uh, person, the consumer. In China, you need to, to really um, uh, get along and, and, and con uh, can communicate with the government and also with the consumer. So that combination uh, gives you a lot of, uh, gives you a lot of, can be, can be difficult, can be tricky. But um, as we've pointed out on the screen, you've helped to bring movies like Twilight and Red to China. So you're plowing ahead. How come? Well, I think uh, you we're uniquely positioned in the market. Um, I think that right now, uh, Hollywood is, is trying to figure out China. They're trying to, to they, it's such an incredible market. It's the number two market uh, for tentpole films in box office around the world. It's number four all around in, in box office. So it's really, it's a really kind of uh, the kind of place that it's, it's difficult to ignore. We've been very fortunate in the sense of the way we're set up. Uh, we're able to take advantage of both sides. We, we produce domestic content in, in China. We import Hollywood films, and, and we also do co-productions like a film we just finished, uh, Looper, which stars uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt and Bruce Willis. Well, you said a lot there. Let's start with what Hollywood has to think about when they make a film and take it to China. Uh, are, they, are they playing the, their cards right on that front? Well, I think you know it's 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 a tough nut to crack for them. I think it's it, it, the the whole point of China really isn't to copy and paste. If you treat China as just a domestic as a, a, a distribution point, uh, you're really missing out. China is all about the opportunity to reinvent, uh, and that's really what I think is important. It's a paradigm shift. You have to come at it from a completely different angle that will allow you to be successful in in such a, a huge market. And let's talk about the flip side. Can Chinese productions dominate the U.S. box office? It's going to take some time. I think right now they're very concerned with just filling up that black hole, which is the China market. Um, you know, when you're looking at films like uh, Transformers making 170 million U.S. dollars at the box office, that's, that's a serious market. The real thing about China, and even from a domestic producer's uh, perspective, is uh, it's going to be number two in just uh, uh, box office around the world in, 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 a, in a matter of a, a few short years. The real key about China, and, and what I think has never happened before in the history, is that it, it, it potentially is going to make a real stab at, at number, as a number one market. So how does that position the, the Chinese producer when the box office is, is so significant and the production values rise and the filmmaking techniques rise? That, I think, is something that's going to be uh, really interesting to watch. Dan, really, really quickly, when could that happen? When could the Chinese box office be bigger than the U.S. box office? Well, uh, it's growing at six screens a day in China. Uh, it's uh, uh, at the number two position in tent poles right now. They're at only at 8,000 screens versus 40,000 screens in the States. So you're probably talking within the next five to ten years they're going to be uh, in that position. Pretty amazing numbers. Dan Mintz, thanks for joining us from L.A. Dan Mintz of DMG Entertainment.